Hello, my friends, and welcome to Friday, the very end of the week. And with a tear in my eye and an ache in my heart, it is the very end of our bedtime story videos. But don't be sad because starting Monday, June 1st, you can tell your moms and dads and your grandma and grandpas and your aunts and uncles and your cousins and your nannies and babysitters, whoever may be taking care of you. You can tell them all of your favorite books that you might want. And we librarians at the Johnsburg Library will pull those books for you, put them in a bag and set them outside by the curb for you to come and pick up. So you will have books again in your homes. So I'm excited for you to be able to do that. But one thing I do want you all to remember, if you are um, watching the story hour videos, I want you to know that those are not going to stop. Those are gonna continue on until we can finally have programs back inside our library. And at this point, we don't know when that will be. So continue to enjoy those, okay? I have had so much fun reading these bedtime stories to you every night and getting you cozy for bed. I hope you have enjoyed it too. And I am sad to see them go, but we're moving forward. We're getting back out in the world and we're getting back to the library. So that is good news. All right, are you ready for our last story? I chose Time to Say Good Night. And we have two people who decided to get together and create this book. We have an author or the person who thought of the story and wrote it down. That person is Sally Lloyd Jones. And then we have the artist or the illustrator of the book, the person who did the great artwork or pictures. That person is Jane Chapman, okay? So I'm gonna say thank you, Sally. Thank you, Jane for getting together, putting your brains together, your creativity together, and creating this great book titled Time to Say Good Night. It is getting time to say good night, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's see how it goes. Looks like the bunnies are getting ready to say good night. All righty, here we go. Hopping bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Stop your hopping, stop, stop, stop. Stars are dancing in the skies. Good night, bunnies. Close your eyes. Little birdies, cheep, cheep, cheep. No more songs now, sleep, sleep, sleep. Night has come and you must rest. So climb inside your cozy nest. That's a cardinal. Busy squirrels, one, two, three. Time to curl up in your tree. No more crunching, just be still. Little squirrels on the hill. They are active. Little Ollies, what about you? When night comes, what do you do? Open your eyes, leave your beds, lift your little Ollie heads. I don't know if you were here when we talked about all the nocturnal animals. Owls are nocturnal. So when we go to sleep, they wake up. When we are awake, they are asleep. So we are saying, wake up to these guys. Little bears in the dark wood, settle down now as you should. Stop that growling and behave, little bears in your dark cave. Little fawn that's played and played, when it's dark, don't be afraid. You are safe now. We will keep careful watch, so go to sleep. I must say the artwork in this book is beautiful. Tiny Mouse, the day is done. 
Stop your scurrying, little one. No more squeaking, not one peep. Close your eyes now, go to sleep. There's a little cricket. All right, let's look here. We've got our cardinal going to sleep. We've got the squirrel settling down. The owls are in flight. They're going to do their nighttime stuff. Little fawn is heading to bed. We've got our mouse. She's going night night. We've got our rabbits. The bears are getting settled in. What about you, sleepy head? Guess whose turn it is for bed? No more dances, no more chat, no more wanting this or that. No more songs now, not one peep. Close your eyes and go to sleep. All the animals are telling you it's time for bed now. Stars are dancing in the skies. Kiss good night. And close your eyes. There goes the owl. Oh, that was such a good story. The animals help say good night to you. All right, my friends, we are going to do our last breathing exercise. You know how it goes. We're gonna breathe through our nose for two. We're gonna breathe out our mouth for four and let out all the busyness of the day so that we can get quiet and settled into sleep. Are you ready? Here we go. In our nose for two. One, two. Out our mouth for four. One. In our nose for two. One, two. Out our mouth for four. One, two, three, four. In our nose for two. One, two. Out our mouth for four. One, two, three, four. Wonderful. And now one last deep breath in our nose. Hold it. Slowly out your mouth. Let go all the busyness of the day. My friends, I love you all. I miss you all. I can't wait to see you back in the Johnsburg Library. Thank you so much for being with me during all of my bedtime stories. I just appreciate it so much. I appreciate you. Enjoy my friends, settle on down for sleep, close your eyes, get cozy, have the most beautiful dreams, and I look forward to seeing you at the library. Namaste and good night.